didn't have that energy to insult Baumia. Time you could zongo seven more young kwasia for mutum banzans more corona mu reading much as yes, a foolish boys. Oh, more this energy and you quite draco bozongo for to kwasia for want men put this energy together to hold Baumia accountable mutum banzas and more. I saw what happened during the zongo seven. And even the police officers, some of them lied and put a gun in front of them. And later when, when they set up the committee, it was a lie. We saw what happened at Kumasi Cemetery, where a police officer shot and killed Amisu. Nothing happened. We saw what happened at uh, Konfanochi Teaching Hospital, when the baby of Sueba was stolen. And this is recently what happened in Ejra. I need from Kevin Taylor is... For you to show me one single video during the era of Zongo 7 killing that was in either in April or May 2018. Because your page, when I look at it, it was created in 2012 and the name changed 2016. But at that moment in 2018, one single video with evidence that you talk about the Zongo 7. You did a lot of journalism program and blogging in Ghana before you came to the U.S. So you cannot say you did not see 2018 what happened in the Zongo 7. But you started only talking about the Zongo 7 in what? 2019 or 2020. Because you want to get the what? The law from the Muslims. But the Muslims and the Ghana Muslims and the Zongo community and the Zongo bloggers and the Zongo community, they are the ones who fought for themselves. Where were you at that time? What got him? Passes on, sorry. If the chief imam dies, the chief imam who in there, you have the biggest destabilization from the Muslim community. And I see a Christopher, you are Ghana, an incremental for a time is coming now. And check now, some are making so a basic after the death of Sheikh Osman Nun Sharbutu, a baby ba na encha kura. Christo soon back to form. Yes, a nimba guasi, a bet to take. Muslims will take in charge. Islamic soon a better take in charge. And this is the warning to Christians. I read it, Osman. It's a radical to them say, Sheikh Osman Sharbutu, or your peacemaker man, or your Sudia, but new watch. Buntaka, Haruna, and then Babin. It is a three Muslim trinity. They need a Muslim president. It is better for them, Wajman. They want a Muslim president. Yes, that is the agenda. That is the agenda. They said they were so mad for Muhammad to choose a lady. Who the hell are you people? Ref Raff's like Q. Who made you who you are? Somebody I know personally, they don't know I know, told me. They openly told the person, how can Muhammad go and choose Professor Nana? Who the hell? Woman Taka, when did you come to politics? And then Corona now born as Wasi and Kabe, we need power. And these are the things people are, are following. So we need respectable, intelligent Muslims to, to, to build this nation with. Now I want to say this Muslims defend Muslims Muslims protect Muslims Muslims use the Quran to defend what is right Foolish social media Muslims See He is even insulting you You the followers He said Because he said If Baumia does not become the president Muslims are doomed Or Chimba Muslim Ben of Chan Trust Baumia He is talking about voting for Muslim or uh, Christian or whatever But each and every one of us defending their own when it comes to say, but say only for when you're Muslim, no one can, no one yard the papa, no be all when you're Muslim, no Muslim folk of Otumana. There's nothing wrong with it. If the country we are living and you are living and all of us, is it Muslim controlling the country? No. Is a Christian controlling the country? It don't matter. Anyone can control. Anyone who is better to lead the people is the best. That is all. But me as a Muslim, I always love my Muslim brothers. I will never turn my back on. My Muslim brother, but that doesn't mean that other people I'm not going to support them. You understand the point? Because the other faith, listen to the other faith, what they said. Opinion upon us, Mr. Honorable Minister, we will not tolerate this. We will not tolerate this. I'm telling you, we are prepared to campaign against the government of the MPP if this is how far they want to go with the Christian majority. You can't pick up the banner, the battle is the loss, and turn around and take decisions that go against Christianity. This is unacceptable, Mr. President. This is not acceptable. We want to call upon the Christian caucus in Parliament to rise up and address this matter. 
If Muslims want to fast, try and Islamize you. You went to the University of Ghana wanting land to build the massive mosque there. They didn't allow you. We know all those things. We have a good network, my friend. We have a very good network all over the country. We are quiet and gentle, but <laughs> don't take our quietness and, smooth and softness for weakness. We are not weak at all. This is one of the most dangerous nations when it comes to Christianity. If you fool around with us, you've, you will regret big time. You regret big time. Mark it down. And so I'm just sending you this word to alert you that we are here watching. We are talking to our God. We are praying to our God that he should remember his covenant with Ghana and defend this nation and defend this nation. This message I'm telling you, we have heard it abroad. We went for international conferences. People did. We have never met before told us the same thing. International conference, full gospel meetings abroad in, in Latin America, in the U S in Europe, where, wherever we turn, we are receiving the same message. Say, especially Ghana. Asemna making Ghana G H A N E Ghana Asemna making Se a Christophwa Yawa Ghana an increment of war. A time is coming na enche na sema making so a besi after the death of Sheikh Osman Nu Sharbutu. Yes, new watch Sadi we besi now. Asema make a besi after the death of Sheikh Osman Shaributu. New wachi. Me repeat it. Na asemne besi niye. Ebrebi ba na enche kura. Ebrebi ba na enche kura. Christo sum batofom. Christo sum batofom. E non su na aso fodo su wumi. Yes. Ebeye. A nimbo guasi. A bet to take a bet pansa. Muslims will take in charge. Islamic soon a bet take in charge. And this is the warning to Christians. I read it yasumami. So say, I'm more your term, say, I see yang, and now, ya ya hyeno. Say, ya ya Christopher, say, ya, and now, ya ya hyeno, dia. This is the warning to Christians. Say, you see, Ghana, you Christo soon, my dear. Christians should stop hypocrisy, sicko fancy, nyacho mini mini. Christians, yay, secret, a woodisep. Yes. Christians, and yay, trimuda, ya dear, ni, a boy, also for any. We should go back to our roots. As I say, a kai, ya can. Mumbu Saba wumi ase Zongo 7 no report in the way. Foolish boys. Mutum Banzanis. Mumfa sa energy no. Mumbu Saba wumi ya. Se. Oma ye kumwa ya jirano. Kaka mwa ase fono. What happened? Mutum Banzanis. Foolish boys. I've been doing the serving. Uh, sub, uh, uh, killing of serving Zongo youth. These police officers. Who are. Look, who look like a criminals. Plotted even a gun. On what? On arm personnel and shoot them and kill them they later on lie and put a gun in front of them when the investigation was constituted later on they found out that the police officers were lying what happened to those police officers who arrested them nobody nobody they later on give money to the family that is what they did compensation alone without no justice is no good and the same thing happened when they shot and killed Amisu in Kumasi, at the Kumasi Cemetery. A police officer shot him. Who, who, why is the police officer who arrested him? Nobody. And the same time happened to Ejra. Just recently. Now, one of those guys who lost his right leg, he's sitting there, not even competing. I'm asking you, Kevin Taylor, can Kevin Taylor show me one single video during the time of the Zango 7 shooting? At the time, 2018, to show one single video that he talked about the Zango 7. No. Just recently in 2019 or 2020, he started to talk about that so he can get your watch, your attention. But 2018, when that thing happened, he is on social media. Go to his page and look at the page. 
when did that page created? The page was created 20, 2012 and the name was changed in 2016 or something like that. So 2018, where is one single video? Only the Muslims, all the bloggers in the Zongo community and the Muslims and you and I, all the bloggers, they, they fight for their own. Kevin Taylor was there. He never cared. They are there, not even Kevin Taylor alone. All the other non-Muslim bloggers. Zongo for boys be can 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 be your mom Jimmy. Because you for now, you said religion, you said you said you said Zongo ni or so you are boy trapped and more mutum banzanis. What you say, I'm going to tell you. What you said, Jimmy, be a baby to me, a baby to me. Mami, you see one word, mama, I'm coming. I'm saying, I do. Do I bear my own to ya? My boy, damn. We will force the Muslim brothers and sisters to start reasoning. They are. Duba, Mr. Maya Lucky Seven Tehausa, Nankam Tehausa. And come you'll be shocked, you'll be surprised. Come, come over, Numu. You are lucky. I don't understand. Me to me, Kahausa. I can't speak Hausa, and it hurts me every time. Nanka de Mobetu or Masumuno. Let's take your body past seven. A two under Baumia. Kwasia told you a Muslim. Why are you not questioning him? Messi, Zongo seven year bo mutuono. So also can go run. Oh, the mama bofom. Oh, you're holier than me. Why didn't you ask Baumia? The family of Zongo seven are still engraved. We haven't seen any justice to the family of Zongo seven. Where are the police officers who shot and killed them? Have you seen anything? Has any result come out? And more, shut up, foolish boys. Or any government appointee in Ghana, or anybody in Ghana, answer these three questions or four questions. We need an evidence. If you can provide me with this evidence, that means you are a real. Number one, can you provide me with an evidence of any arm, any bullet, any gun, anything where the seven Zongo guys who got shot, they were older. They don't have no, they were on arm. Those seven Zongo guys who were shot by the security forces in Ghana, by the police, under the word police commander Duku, who is retired now, he lied on the media. We have the videos. Police commander Duku lied. That this are uh, army robbers, and he brought a uh, what the death of the Zongo seven, which has crippled all the media across the world. They were given a deer, but no justice to the family. There has never been even one single police officer. Who shot and killed these individuals? We have not seen even one single police officer who has been arrested on media. And the police were... Many of the Zongo people fight for themselves. They try. They try their best. They did whatever they want to do. And you yourself know Ghana. There is no justice in Ghana. Even a bot, an MP was shot and killed. What happened? Many people. Many people were shot and killed. What happened? You know. So do you want the Muslims or the Zongo community or the Ghana as a whole to take a knife and put on the neck of any, uh, what do you call it, politician for him to do that? The, the president saw it. Everyone saw what happened. We try our best. Many Zongo community bloggers try their best, but nothing happened. Even not only this. You know what is happening in Ghana. There is freedom, but without no justice. Are you fine? Hey guys, baby, I'm making it here. I'm going to do my so if you think sometimes I heard the phrase they said a Ghanaians only understand our leaders in Ghana or our chiefs or our malams they only understand insult that is what they said yes they said they only understand what insult that means 
you need to be ready. The next generation will also insult, insult you. you. To me, <laughs> they don't understand the insult. Come out to Dean to that. Come out to Dean to that. So if you think insult, it is good. And always I've been saying that. Oh, yeah, Pepe, you're Pepe, you're Pepe, you're Masa, you Jimmy, you're Pepe, baby. From this kind of thing, your body past seven, a two and abawumia, kwasi ato you are a Muslim. Why are you not questioning him? Me see, zongo seven year bobu tu no. So also can go run. Oru mama bobu form. Oh, you holier than me. Why didn't you ask abawumia? I hope if this is your family, you will never like it. This has happened to a lot of Muslims. You remember the case of zongo seven. What happened? Where are the police officers who shot and killed them? A compensation alone cannot modify nothing. Where are the police officers who shot and killed Amisu at the Kumasi Cemetery in Tafo? Where are the nurses who stole the baby of Suaiba at Konfanochi Teaching Hospital? Where are the people who shot and killed a lot of Muslims in the Zango community? It is time for Salat. But we will still have to hear from them before you watching me. You will never like it. I hope it is your family. You will never like it either. I hope it is part of your even nuclear family. You will never like it either. A wall, Miss Barr, he's not, my, he's not part of my family, but it's my family through what Islam or through humanitarian. As you can see him, one of his right leg was amputated out due to the shooting that happened in Edra. It's a young boy without no harm of those disease. What happened in Edra, I think everyone in Ghana knows what happened. As you can see, many people, children who are engraved for their family for what happened in Edra. So when you come to this program, what I want you to do is for you to try your best and share this program for me in just a minute. This goes to the government of Ghana. This going to the national security of Ghana, the leadership of Muslims community, and the MPs, the Muslim caucus of parliament in Ghana, and the MP of Edra, all of them. And it goes to the vice president of Ghana too. As you can see, we are here live in Edra. This is Mohammed Awalko. Yasunanshi. Awal Ms. Bao. Awal Ms. Bao. As you can see, it's a 16 year old boy who has been shot. 17. It's a 16 years old. He's going 10, 17 years. This is Mohammed Awal. He lost his life, right leg during the Edra riots. So we are calling on our leadership. Some people called me, some of the leaders called me, some other people, I don't know them. That was the day before yesterday, and even yesterday that, they were doing their own investigation to also compensate him. That is what I was told. The two were compensated, the diseased. They finished with them. But he has lost his right leg for the rest of his life. It may be you one day, it may be your grandson or your child or whatever one day. No one knows tomorrow. No one knows tomorrow. And let me tell you, this child is a 16 year old. He wasn't going for a riot to fight with the police. He does not have any arm, nothing. But the bullets do not know anybody. A bullet, when it's shot, do not know anybody. It can penetrate to anyone. So we are urging the government of Ghana. We are urging our Muslim leadership. We are urging our Muslim caucus in parliament. The vice president of Ghana, the former former president, the everyone, please, for the sake of Allah, for the sake of God, remember this child. He lost his right leg. He is going through what? A trauma. He's going through what? A stress. We need to support him. We he need a compensation. He also need justice for those who shot him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Kwa siyafu, mwusoria na mwenye nipa fumbi di dimwetu kwa nani mwini beti nata tivi suwa. Obe mwenye una wai. Tumbanzani. Listen to this video why he says Muslims defend Muslims. Muslims this time. So if the Muslims defend their own brothers Muslims. You see? 
He is even insulting you, you the followers. He says you should go and what? Support and defend your own brothers. That is what he said. Now, we ask you, our cherished viewers, to take your support one step further through what we call the Loud Silence TV $1 donation. Yes, the Loud Silence TV $1 donation will help sustain Loud Silence TV's continuous production across the world. To donate from America, Europe, or... So as you may know, there are two different between the issue of I and Kevin Taylor. Kevin Taylor is doing his job by exposing politicians, which a lot of people applaud him. I am a philanthropist and also Islamic-based Dawa media. So me and him are not the same. He does political way. I do, I do what Islam, humanitarian, and also what the Zongo stuff. That is the difference between I and him. Count. The link will be shared on our social media pages and on loudsilencenews.com. For those who are wishing to donate from Ghana and the rest of Africa, a separate payment platform will be available soon. With your one dollar donation, Loud Silence TV will continue to fight for the ordinary Ghanaian, expose corruption, and shine. Does it do with the money to even send something back home to help your community and order? I never, I don't use my money to do whatever I do. You, the people who are watching me, are the supporters. I will use the Facebook to do what? To support the less privileged back home, in your own home, wherever, whether you are Muslim or non Muslim. But ask yourself, what did this guy is doing? Nothing. Of MC, they also have an MP. The former MP, he has been there for four more, four years. Let's say four years before the election, he was got out. If you could look at the building itself, we are going to inside to see you how the kids are suffering. It is very, very hard and pathetic. It is a COVID era, and these kids were able to go out to fetch their own water with the pie on their head. Everybody know what they say. What we see sad in the mama. Government of Ghana, when you're mama. Casa. One school in Mamo. Aha, who super so Casa? Abina. Abina, okay. Who per government one bed? Me ban, then you show now, when you show you show net, you say. But you're called down, honey, essence you. But you're not in your own kitchen, you know, echo sense you say, Satan, the corona buyer. No, you say, yen you say. Uh, Valenica bucket. Yeah. So, in so many ma, yes, so into me, you soon to end your kitchen, I'm never quite a sense you never. I'm not yet the other good for a cup of getting a bassa, a quen wa, some more coat or hoa or hoa banner. That time I laid some bus yard here. In ten now, moving away and I'm with share boss, a cacra, on the baby, a male boohoo. In ten young quadrum, so yes, young was a boohoo, no abba. In ten that one out, why yet boohoo, no amma and I say, say, or much me, amma a boohoo. In ten. It is very, very hard and pathetic. It is a COVID era. And these kids were able to go out to fetch their own water with the pie on their head. They have an MP. I heard even the MCE brought a media house to this location. We will go inside to show you how the building is. I heard this building was built in 2014. This contractor himself need to be arrested because this job he did was just a what? A bogus job. As you can see, look at the teacher. Look at the teacher. Look at the kids. Standing under the tree, water it. As you can see, we have we have a very good clean good water here. We also have on this side, so the kids don't have no problem with water. We will go to this side and let me show you a little bit on this one. They can also the community if they need it, they can also come to this way and also fetch the water. As you can see, they have a very good clean good water. So what we. That's the pledge from the office of the 
Um, former President John Damani Mahama. 20,000 Ghana City. 20,000 Ghana City. Atabir. For the first Islamic school for the blind in Ghana. Put in that and say 200 million. Old Ghana City, 200 million. Say, the Nature of my command, the one of my Abdelanana. Yeah, I'm a Sufida. She's a Kazoo. We put our hands together. The vice president is saying, that this is a classroom, this is a, a structure that we are building for the physically challenged who, who find themselves within the Zangus. He will want to take part in the construction, but not to give money. He will take part in the construction of this project in order to ensure a speedy completion of the project. But this is not a 10,000 project. Allah, we want you to donate, we want you to share this program, we need your help and we need your support. In Ghana, there is no any Islamic school for blind in Ghana or deaf or the mute. We are trying our best to also support and make sure we can have the first time in the history of Ghana, Islamic school for the blind. We spent more than $92,000 for all this project without no any government or any organization support, but rather, you who are watching me on social media, there is no single support from any government for this project at this time. As I'm standing here currently, we need your support. We need you to also support and make sure we can have the first time in the history of Ghana, Islamic school for the blind. Muslims defend Muslims. Muslims protect Muslims. Muslims use the Quran to defend what is right. Fully social media Muslims. I have told Zongo Seven. Munko Busama Babu Miyana say a bomb to under his leadership. What has come out of it? Mwa. Fear. And with all due respect to the chief imam, this man has lived a life uh, with all due respect. I am not God. You are not God. But even in the eyes of men, we judge men before God. And every single individual watching me tonight knows that the chief imam has lived an exemplary life. Uh, God, a lie in his own wisdom, can never turn his back at him. Alifa Yo, Yako, we boom boom che boom che eh boom boom che eh boom che. You know what's worse than a hater? A dry hater. A person that's in position. Financially, they may be better than you. They may have more clothes than you, foreign clothes. They may have cars, houses. They may even be in a position that can help you, but they don't. You want to know why? Because. They can't use you or reap the benefits from you. So what do they do? They draw hate on you. They tell people not to work with you. They tell people not to be a part of you because they're afraid of you. They know that your craft is better than theirs, but they don't want to see you at the top though. They don't want to give out a lending hand. Those people are dangerous. It's more draw haters than it is haters. Be careful.